our AC broke on the Honda Civic here pretty much guys what's going on you guys welcome to another episode of JMB tuning where I post helpful yet entertaining video weekly in today's episode we are basically working on the Honda Civic because we're having issue with the air conditioning Sarah is basically complaining that it's been working just fine for 15 minutes and all of a sudden it's just start blowing warm air so if you haven't done so please check our playlist on the 2011 honda civic here and give some support for the channel again as you know it my videos are like vlogs but yet they are also very helpful in a lot of ways so if you want to see sort of the storytelling part of it please watch the whole video if not i do have chapters in place so that way you guys can jump ahead or uh, jump back to a lot of the topics that I have on the videos, especially for the how-to portion of the video. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's work on the car. Recently, Sarah has been complaining about the AC is not working at all. It works for about 15 minutes into a drive and then all of a sudden it starts blowing cold air. I did investigate it and tested it and it surely is working for a while, especially from start and while the car is warming up and then later on for some reason it's starting to blow warm air well first order of business guys is that i've been trying to test the vents how well they're actually doing in this case and i have it on the up only but yet i'm feeling some air coming down in the bottom as well and obviously if i do this both are already blowing air but if i do just the bottom it's still the same from the bottom there, but at the same time, I'm, I'm feeling some air coming up from the top as well. So strangely enough, uh, the top, hard to tell at this point and see if there's any air coming up from the top from our windshield here. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm experiencing here at the moment. So this could be the cause of our issue here. So we're going to troubleshoot that. Here's how to test the head unit on the 2011 Honda Civic sedan and possibly the coupe as well obviously it's the same head unit so basically what we need to do is you have to press and hold these two uh, buttons here and put the key in the on position and it will then uh, do the tests for us here by holding this two buttons down until the, the whole test is completed so let me just put the camera down and i need both hands here to free up i basically press these two together and then i turn on the key so now it's doing its cycle here and doing its testing as you guys can see and now we're seeing a blinking light one two three four so we have a code four and we'll figure out what that code is basically in the process based on the code we receive code four is basically the open or short in the mode control motor circuit so most likely we have an issue with our motor control for the climate control i think that's where the problem is it's called the air blender actuator we got our package well we'll just do a quick unboxing for you here so basically here's our part Open it up and see what we have here. Just, uh, there Here's what we got. Here's basically the actuator. The motor and this is where that uh, control sits to open and close and it's a bit of dirt there we will need to grease here at some point before we install it uh, i'm not sure if i have a grease i might just put a regular grease in there dialectic grease is probably the best one to have but i don't have ample of dialectic grease to put in there so we'll see how this works all right our first order of business basically guys the uh, actuator is actually located here somewhere uh, so we have to undo this basically get this out out of the way and there's a few volt we need to remove um, possibly that uh, plate in the bottom there needs to be 
uh, taken out as well to clear everything out so we can actually get access to the actuator inside. Okay, time to remove this baby out uh, basically here. Uh, to do so, just have to get this down. Let's see if I can get all the stuff out here first. So the motor is right here. We just have to uh, undo all those connections there and uh, free up this area here so we can actually get to that actual motor there. Guys, to start with, basically we need to yank this uh, little panel in the bottom here to get some room to work with here. I believe you just have to yank this baby out. There you go. So basically there's a couple of clips here. You guys can see it and then um, we got this two rubber grommet that needs to sit back in there if it ever comes off so that's that and what i'm thinking of doing here guys is i might just remove the hole instead of just uh opening this glad compartment i'm gonna unscrew it there's basically a screw up here that's holding it and also one on the other side it's a eight mil the screw just to get this whole compartment out so that way it frees up everything for us well guys for some reason the camera died on me while i was trying to explain to you how this is removed instead of just removing it and, and let it dangle here there's a screw here and a screw here that we need to undo to get this whole thing out okay so next order of business uh really we need to undo all this stuff out we have a seven mil here and then we got a 10 mil here that we need have to undo get the power cord out so first off we'll have a seven mil here i just wanted to get this out first if you get a little socket like this you can actually squeeze that nipple to get out there so you freeze up that whole thing and then we'll need to get this tab out it's a little tab that you can press here you can pull that whole thing out now let's freeze free up that area there we just need our seven mil here get my socket in so I got this flimsy extension here that really helps me in the process to get that bolt out. That extension where it, it's flexing just gives me a little easier way to undo this baby. Got our 7 mil out and then just gotta get our 10. No, it's almost freed up here guys we just have one more bolt in the back it's really gonna be hard for me to show you that but it's right at the back here that's holding it so I'm gonna see if I can find it and I'll show it to you all right guys I'm all crunched up here I'm gonna show you where that bolt is so basically it's this guy right here it's the bolt that we need to undo to get this whole vent out so anyhow that's where it's at that's very simple it's about i think it's seven mil or so and should be good to go oh and the other thing i wanted to explain guys is that the actual actuator motor the bolts that we need to undo later on is this two here in the bottom one there and one here i might as well take the chance here to show you and then the few bolts that we have at the top so to get this whole actuator motor out including the actual uh, uh guide so just to show you now while I'm down here. All right, uh, we got our plastic duct out. And so I just gotta get these two bolts. I believe those are the two bolts left. Very simple from here. You can just use a ratcheting wrench with our seven mil. So I thought that there's only two in the bottom and one on the top, but actually there's one more at the top there, guys, as you guys can see. There's one up there that we need to undo. And then this whole thing should uh, free up itself here pretty soon. I got a few extension going here. I have this hard extension and this is flexi one here and our seven mil to be able to get that bolt on the top. So basically that's what we're gonna use to, to do so. All right, guys, I got it all latched on there. So this is how I would remove this with that flexi. It's really hard to film, but you guys see the idea there to get that one bolt out oh we're almost almost got it out here so it's really nice to have that flexi uh extension there anyway so i'll just 
finish this up here and then show you guys when it's all done. Here's our motor actuator. It's basically how it looks like, as you guys can see. And then we got those two control arms. Just make sure that they do move and keep the orientation as is, so that way it's easier to put the new one in. Here's uh, the two side by side. As you can see, they're pretty much the same, identical here. I just gotta get some um, grease to put up here, much like what this guy have, so that way it slides nicely, prevent it from getting damaged even further going forward. So that's basically how it looks like. As you can see, guys, it's there, fairly identical. The aftermarket, the product here, I'm not sure how long they're gonna last, but it does the work, hopefully, here. All right, time to put it back, guys. We got enough grease in there, really. So it's gonna go this orientation here. So, there we go. Just gotta put the bolt in, hold it. Let's see if I can get the first bolt. Sorry for blocking the view here, but let me just see if I can get it in one of the bolts anyways, to just, so that way we can secure it. Okay guys, we got one bolt in, we just gotta secure it even more, so that way it sits in nicely, it doesn't move anymore. So, this is critical that you got the two arms sitting perfectly in the grooves where we have lubricated there basically before you get them in. And I would suggest not to put the power source in beforehand or else you might damage the actual motor itself. So just uh, wait till you get everything bolted in before you put the power back in. You got it all secured at the moment. You just got to put the rest of the four bolts, the remaining three bolts, one at the top and one more on the left side there and then one in the bottom. So once that's in, we're going to test this baby out. Guys, we have it all seated in now. You just got to get the rest of the items uh, in place, the ducting and all the wiring's in place. So we got to put this back. Might as well get it in here. You guys can see. Um, as well. Let's leave this one for now. I took out this one in the bottom here because uh, this one in the bottom so I can kind of give me some room here. But let's plug it back in. You know, we got to get the, the rest of the ducting here. Now I just have to orientate it again back in there. There we go. Time to put the bolt in for this is the 10 mil on this end. Here are ducting here. It's on tight, so just have to put our brace in for the cord. Goes in there. As you guys can see, it's nice and latched on now. We got that back in. We just gotta bolt this baby in here. We got a small eight mil right on here. All right, guys, we're almost down here. Basically, we got two bolts for the back uh, left is a seven mil. And then we got the remaining bolt for our glove compartment here to put it back and in place. I just like to test this before I completely put together the glove compartment here. So we'll just start the car up and uh, test it out and see how it goes from here. First order of business, start the car up. So you guys can see it's already moving. It moved to the position that it needs to be. As uh, so we have the uh, the button pressed on this side here. As I'm gonna move around and, and change the position, you guys can see that it's gonna move. The actuator actually moves, so let me try that. The first button here, I'm gonna start from this button all the way here, and you guys can see that it's gonna keep moving around. There you go, first button. 
it's changing position now we can feel air coming from the top and nothing on the bottom there i don't feel anything here which is good now that's actually good news next button here let's see if it moves actually it won't move much it's just that it's going to open up the bottom as well so now we can feel air coming down here and still air up here which is great uh now let's see pressing this third button here which is just the bottom or on our on our footwell i'm gonna put the camera here if you guys can see it should actuate the motor again slightly and this time no air on this vent which is what we expect and just down here basically all right that's working so far uh now we'll do the um the windshield uh heating system so if you press this baby in we should get some air up the top here and as well as the bottom so let me see how that goes i'll uh, leave it here in the motor and see if it actually moves or anything in the process yeah it moves a little bit we still have air coming down here and then we should feel some air coming here now which we can nice it's working so far and now finally just the windshield air let's see if that moves yeah it moved a little bit and now it's just air coming up here completely nice and cool bottom nothing nothing on the top as well so it looks like we're working out here now uh this time we're gonna try and test the uh, ac uh going forward here that'll be a separate test that i'm gonna do lastly folks uh just have to put our trimming back on the bottom to dress it up here so again just have to latch those two in the back and then we got our clips to hook back in and we should be all good to go all right guys now it's time to test our uh, ac here hopefully 